There needs to be someone in your circle that's not impressed with your car, your house, your talents, your gift. You need somebody in your circle that will stand up to you when you wrong. Peter was that one. Peter was the one. Y'all know we give Peter a hard time when we talk about Paul and how Paul was converted. And oh, Paul, and oh, Paul, and oh, Paul. But then I was reading in this and, and, and God had me to understand that Peter was the one. Yeah. Peter was the one, and, and I, I began to read, and I said, hmm, in your circle, chief list, in your circle, you need someone that will stand up to you. Now let that marinate for a minute. If you don't have anyone in your circle that will stand up to you when you're wrong, you need to check your circle. Check your circle. If, if every time you post something on Facebook, even if it's wrong, someone is agreeing with you, check your circle. It's right. It's right. You know when you're wrong. You know when you post it. I remember Jessica one time. She said, Mama, something had gone on and it had just rubbed me the wrong way. And I got on Facebook and I had made a big old long post. I posted, I posted. And I could just hear you in my mind saying, take it off. <laughs> <laughs> Want to do it, Brandon? <laughs> Take it off. If you don't have somebody in your circle that will correct you or that will that will try to redirect you when you're wrong, you have the wrong circle. That's right. That's it. Think about that for a minute. Yeah. If everybody's always when you know you're wrong, you know you know you know you're wrong. You know you're wrong. You know the words. You know the words that come out of my mouth. You know the words. You know that you're wrong. When the Holy Ghost convicts you, you know you're wrong. And you get posted. And when it hit Simon's face, you could not take it back. Right. Peter was at one. And as I, I began, began to read, and I was reading this scripture, and I'm not going to be here for long, but I, I began to, to think, and God said, Griffin, if you have everybody in your circle that is impressed with you. I remember when Miss Nelson and I first met. <laughs> I thought she was the meanest thing walking. <laughs> I was serving at the school, and I was... <laughs> <laughs> I was up at the school and we'd be sitting down and eating and Miss Nelson would always have that grimace on her face. <laughs> we'd be laughing and talking and that's all she could do. <laughs> but then I got to know her. Yeah. Now I can call her friend. Mm -hmm. You know why I can call her friend? Because she stands with me when I'm right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she stands up to me yeah. when I'm wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Y'all, that's, that's the description of a real friend. Yeah. That's the definition. Should be the definition of your friend. Yeah. If you have, if you call somebody friend and they won't stand up to you when you're wrong, that is not your friend. That's right. That is not your friend. That's right. That is just a person that likes to be around you. That's right. And some people like to be a mess. That's true. And that's too much of a coward. Yes. Yes. So they'll get over here and they'll whisper in your ear. Uh -huh. You know what? I don't know how true it is. Mm -hmm. And don't say nothing to nobody else about it. They'll tell you that because they know. They know that you're the type of person that's going to spread. Uh -huh. don't, say nothing to, don't say nothing to nobody else about this. Just keep it to yourself. Just pray with me. Pray with me. Just pray with me. But I heard. You pray, we gon' we gonna fast it now. Uh, we talking about fast and pray, you just want somebody to find out. Yeah. <laughs> you just want somebody to find out and you too much of a chicken to spread it for yourself. Right. So you gonna tell somebody else. Cause you got the right one. You know who to go to. Be careful how folks bring stuff to you. Cause they know your temper is high. They know you got a quick temper. Yeah. You got like Peter. You don't mind cutting off nobody's ear. Oh, Lord. Be careful, be careful who brings stuff to you. Yeah. Okay, Lord. That's okay, right. Jesus. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Get back to the book of Mark. <laughs> you be careful. You make sure that the friends, the people that you call them friends, mm -hmm. are the ones when you are talking about something, they'll tell you that ain't right. That ain't right. That's not right. That's not right. That would advise you in the right way, amen? Yeah. Isn't that right? That's right. So, in this book of Mark, I was looking at everything Peter had done. Peter did so much. Even he had a quick temper. He was quick to speak. He 
had done so much. But then I thought about it. I said, well, well, Lord, why is it? Jesus, why is it when you were raised from the dead, you said, tell your disciples and Peter. <laughs> why did you call Peter's name? You know everything Peter had done. You know he had denied you. Why did you single out Peter? Who was your Peter? God said, I singled him out. Jesus said, I singled him out because he needed healing mm -hmm. from the inside. Yes. He was already in torment in his mind because he knew he had done me wrong. Yes. Wow. Who is your Peter? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who has done you wrong that God is saying, go call him? Oh, go call him. Go tell him. Go be reconciled with him. Go let him know that, that it's all right to come on back. God, Jesus said, I called Peter because I had to let him know it was all right. I knew everything that you had done. I know your mind. I know you ain't no problem, but I can still use you. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I was thinking, I said, why didn't you call John? Why did you want them to, to tell John that you were that, to meet you in Galilee? Why didn't you tell your mama? Why didn't you tell Mary? Mary, mama, meet me. To go tell my mama to meet me. That's right. He said, but I called Peter. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> Peter needed to have been reconciled. Just think about it if it was you. If you were Peter. And you were denied. What would your mind be thinking? Some of you have been in that position. Come on, follow me. Stay with me. Stay with me. You can't deny this. <laughs> I know you want to go to sleep. I know you want to you wanna act like you don't hear me, but you hear me. Where is your Peter? Come on. Come on. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it that you are still holding? I just can't forgive him. I just can't let them go. Oh, they did me so bad. They hurt me so bad. You just don't know how they hurt me. Oh, they talked about me and they did this and they did that. Did that. But Jesus said, now you got to go get them. Yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It was hard for me too. But Jesus said, now you got to go get them because they're needful for the kingdom. Yeah. He forgave Peter. And he sent for him. He said, go tell my disciples and Peter. Peter. Now, Peter was the only one he called by name. Why was that? Then we keep reading on over in the book of Acts, and I find out why. How Peter preached on, on Pentecost. Once Peter got converted, y'all, he strengthened his brother. Just imagine if I were Peter and I was sitting there and, and, and the, the maid had, the, 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 had come, the women had come and said, Jesus is calling for you. Wow. <laughs> he said, meet him. Yeah. Just think of all the stuff that Peter was thinking in his mind. I don't want to see him. Now Judas had betrayed him, but Judas had gone out and done what? Yeah. Oh, so he killed himself. He committed suicide because he couldn't, he couldn't deal with it. But Peter said, I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hang on. Maybe, just maybe. Just maybe, just maybe. Him being God, just maybe he can forgive me. Mm -hmm. And then when they told Peter, <laughs> he's calling for you. Can you just imagine the things in Peter's mind? He probably thought, why is he calling me? Oh, he ready to pay me back. He's going to do something to me. He's going to zap me. He's going to... Oh, he's going to oh, he's gonna do something. He's angry. He's angry. He want to let me know exactly how he feel. He's angry. Yeah, yeah. But Peter went on to Galilee. And he met him. I just got one thing to ask you today. Who is your Peter? Who is your Peter? Who is God telling you? I had somebody to, to uh, send me a text this morning. I don't mention her name. Send me a text. And the text was, God sees. <laughs> and so, you know, I wanted to say, well, praise God. Thank you, Jesus, God. But then God said, no. Uh, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> Examine yourself. I see. I see. There's somebody who's sitting out there right now. You haven't given yourself totally to God. You have not. You know why? Because you think God is upset with you. God is mad at you. He's, he, 
everything I've done, I know he bad at me, and I don't, I don't see, God is not like man. 